Hi, my name is Jack Horton, and I'm an ESSER instructor. Let's learn about how to divide lines. If we look in the Tools Gallery, under the Edit menu on the toolbar, we'll see we have a tool called Divide. This works on lines, or it works on polygons. Let's do it on a line. Notice Divide, like a lot of tools, has a selection right on the tool, so you don't have to um, uh, go off the tool to select different features. Let's just go ahead and select a line. And now we have a line selected. If we use the chip, we might choose to select that polygon or that polygon, but let's use this line. Now these lines happen to be part of a parcel fabric and they have measurements on them. Notice this is a 104 foot line. So the divide tool knows what to do with those measurements. It'll work on ordinary lines, but it also works on Kogo lines in a parcel fabric. Well, first let's just divide it into equal parts. I'll choose three parts. And you see graphic feedback showing you where the parts will be. Let's go ahead and divide it. And it will divide the line into three parts and distribute the measurements equally. Now notice it's provided graphic feedback allowing us to divide the line again if we want to. Well, let's not. Let's just go ahead and uh, clear the selection and demonstrate to ourselves that indeed it's divided into three parts. And let's undo that and try a different method for dividing. So we're back to one line. Let's go ahead and select the line. And this time, uh, instead of equal parts, like the graphic feedback is showing us, let's use percentage. How about 20% of the line? So notice now the graphical feedback shows us 20% from the beginning of the line. If we really wanted 20% from the end of the line, we click this button here, and we could go forward with that. Now, let's not even complete this. Let's leave the Divide button alone, and let's go for Distance. So with Distance, we have three choices, a single distance, equal distances, or varying distances. How about three equal distances? So let's make it 35 feet. And let's repeat that three times. And as you can see, it's going to divide that 104 foot line into three 35 foot pieces. Now, if you do the math, you realize that's not exactly right. There's an extra foot. So we might have a situation where the legal description says that's what the distance is. So let's go ahead and distribute the error so that geometrically it'll be three equal pieces. And uh, in terms of its attributes, it'll say that each one is 35 feet. Let's divide it and give it a second and sure enough it has three 35 foot pieces geometrically those pieces are not exactly 35 feet but the attributes reflect an even distribution of 35 feet among the three parts All right so you can also just provide your own distances let's undo this and let's come back and choose varying distances. And let's just decide what we want. Let's say we'd like a 30 foot piece. How about a 40 foot piece? And it tells us that we have 34 feet left over. This time let's just make it come out even. And a 34 foot piece. There's our three pieces. Let's divide. And we're done. We've divided it into the three pieces we want, 30, 34 at this end, 40, and 30 at this end. Had we wanted them in a different order, we could have chosen to go from the other side. And it would have divided them that way. But they're already divided. This is how they are. And let's go ahead and stick with that. All right. So that's how you divide lines. I hope you find this tool productive.
Thank mm-hmm. you.